Welcome back to Wallflowers. So today I'm potting up my seedlings that I sowed on Boxing Day. So traditionally Boxing afternoon, well late morning, early afternoon uh, in our household we have the traditional Boxing Day fry up and then we look at how can we get into the growing season. So on Boxing Day it looks a bit messy now. I took this big tray with tiny little plug holes in and I sowed onions, peppers, tomatoes, cabbages, leeks um, and some basil. Sadly this doesn't fit on a window ledge so we had it in different positions. Um, early on the cabbages came up so I potted them on into another tray and placed them on the window ledge um, and I've got six in each hole in this tray um, and the same I did with the tomatoes um, so some of these are cherry and some of these are money maker um, and again I potted these on put them on the window ledge so in both in the tomatoes I think I've got about 60 to 70 which is obviously way too much for me but I do grow some to share with friends and I'm hoping to be able to trade with other people along the way as well for other plants I may not have sown or be able to get and I'll do the same with the cabbages now as I say this did get a bit neglected but these nice healthy ones down the middle are peppers now I struggled last year um, sowing my peppers and I didn't get them on um, coming on this well till nearly May I think it was so I didn't get much produce at the end of the year I'm hoping with these because they've come on so early that I'm going to get some fabulous fruits from them so as I say I've been out and about today and I've bought these little trays with individual uh, four trays in them and they have a top so I can keep these on window ledges around the house I've bought four of these and literally what I'm going to do now is prick as many of these out that are sal salvageable so all these tomatoes are fine all the cabbages are fine most of the peppers are and I'll see what I can salvage with the onions and leeks these horrible messy ones are the cabbages I chose not to keep so I've let them go um, I'm going to put about five tomatoes in each hole here um, and let them run on for a while, um, place them back on the window ledge, keep watering them and as you see as I go along I'm going to plant them a lot lower than what they are so what happens is I'll put a hole in, I'll prick the tomato, I'll put them down um, the roots will actually start thickening up, grow more roots and it'll strengthen the plant for later on in the season. So I'm just literally going to go ahead and continue finishing just filling the trays with my compost. I don't want to compact it down, I want to keep it as loose as possible because as I've said I'm actually going to be putting four, five, sometimes six plants back in each hole um, so if it's too compacted and they dry out when I come to separate the plants to individually pop them up there's a possibility of damaging the roots so the looser that I keep the soil the less possibility of actually damaging the roots when I come to separate them so that's the intention at this stage So the tools I use for this job are pretty basic. So I have a long handled teaspoon. So when I come to take the plants out of the, the pod it's already in, I'm literally going to lift it out with my long handled teaspoon. As I said, the looser it is and the less compact the soil is, you can actually see how I can lift it out without damaging and what I'm going to do 
is use an old pencil and I'm literally going to make a hole take that tomato I'm hoping you can see this clearly take that tomato just press it down gently with the prep with the pencil and just pot it up to its first leaves so as you can see we've gone from this length of the stem sticking out to actually burying it in the new part lower down to secure and strengthen the root system on that plant and as I say I'm then going to do another hole separate press down gently with the pencil Take it right down again to its first roots, its first leaves, sorry. And should I need to put a little bit more compost in to secure that, then that's what I'll do. And there we have the first two in. I'm going to go ahead the next one in have to be very careful that we're not going to snap the root of this tomato because it wants to grow you can see them the healthy the vibrant little seedlings so it wants to grow so we don't want to snap it at this stage and there we have three in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plant as many of these, well, repot, should I say, as many of these tomatoes as I possibly can. Get them going in their little incubator. And I'll come back to you when I've finished this tray. Okay, so up to now, I've potted up the tomatoes, potted up all the peppers, couple of the onions, I've yet to do the leeks, I've started off my peas, so basically I've put three pea seeds in each hole, so I've done 120 all together. Now on the packet it says February, now I know we're still not till the end of January yet but I'm giving them a bit of a head start. Um, the dates on them are literally guides, so long as you're not going too extreme away from the end dates, you should be pretty much alright. The cold weather that we're having in February is the same cold weather we're having towards the end of January, so it's not too extreme in the temperatures, and that, so we should be okay. Um, what is it? Just over a week early. So I think we should be alright with sowing the peas now. Um, so as I say, I've done 120 there, um, and I have an archway in the garden, so it's basically like a rose arch. Um, once they come up, I shall have the peas going either side over the arch, and I quite enjoy that. Normally I do peas and green beans, um, but I won't be doing green beans this year. I'll be just doing two lots of peas, so I really enjoy that. Um, as I say, there's an abundance of peppers there, way too many for me, but we do want a lot more than what we normally have. Um, I, I share with regular friends each year anyway, uh, give some away in the town, and hopefully some of those will be for trades. The tomatoes, again, some are for friends, most of them are for me. Cabbages, I want to do a couple of beds of cabbages, um, and a couple will go to friends. I'm just about to do some spinach in the rest of this one. So I'm literally my milk bottle watering can. I've just literally put some holes in the top, um, some water in a washed up milk bottle. Um, I'm going to put two seeds per pot of the spinach. Now again, this spinach is February 7. It's a spinach called Amelia F1 um, and I've purchased these for £1 in Wilco. Um, 
generally normally quite happy with um, Wilco seeds not everyone is so some people want professional um, seeds and will pay a fortune for them cheap and cheerful is what we're after um, they generally work for me so I'm quite happy so as I say I've done um, two in each hole there which is more than enough um, I've done extra spinach previously and tried to give them away to friends. A lot of friends, for some reason, don't like spinach. We'll put spinach on a, a pizza, we'll have spinach in a salad, I'll use spinach in stews and different things. We as a family quite like spinach, so I'm quite happy with that. Now on the tomato one, um, I'm going to do some basil. Now I did some basil um, Boxing Day and unfortunately as I say the big tray was too big to go on the window ledge and the basil got neglected so I lost it. So this is my second second sowing of uh, basil for the year. Um, this is all, round, all year round basil and it's just called sweet basil. Now these are quite tiny so I'm literally just going to sew the tail ends of this packet. Again, I'm just going to wet that compost just so it's ready for the contact of these seeds. So I'm literally just going to broadcast it. Broadcast it just means sprinkle. So I'm literally just going to sprinkle them over the bit of compost and as I say I'm literally going to use all of this so hopefully it's successful I shall plant this in and around when I pop the tomatoes up the basil shall go in each pot with them and obviously I'll put a duster of compost on top of there on top of spinach and again on top of the peas um, and give them a good watering. So as you can see I've got quite a lot going already and we're not even at the end of January yet. I'm quite fortunate because the way the house is we've got two big south facing windows and we've got two big ones on the side so we catch the south, south facing side. Um, which is really what you want uh, for your seedlings on a window ledge. Um, they don't tend to work in the other direction, well especially not for me anyway. Um, so yeah, tomatoes, basil, peppers, spinach, onions, leeks, cabbage and peas. So I think we're not doing too bad so far. I've got a number of other things. I've got lettuces. Um, I've got four different five different types of lettuce here um, and I'm going to do a tray pretty similar to this and just do strips of different ones um, and then I can form what we call a big big mix salad bowl um, we'll use that and then when we come um, to the beginning of spring again we'll do another sowing and as usual out in the garden allotment we'll do a, a lettuce salad bed then and we'll add the reds the different leaves and that interwoven into a pattern but i'm quite happy with how things are coming on so far and hopefully please take us through to early spring and just fill that that low gap when you you're not bringing much in and we'll be able to get stuff out Okay, I've probably waffled on a little bit tonight, but I'm quite excited, excited to get back into the growing season. Um, and I'm sure you are. Let me know below if you've started, what your little tricks are, and how you feel it's going. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye.